a hold down man, suitcase this, my cell phone, I'ma charge it on walk with a limp, get it knocked off a missing, you gon' get it, next time I see you ass, you gon' need airlift. Yo man, you already know man, it's your boy Frog, you feel me? What y'all finna see right now, is a little, a little one, two, three project man, that people are going through day to day, in the chain game man, just to make a way man, to get them something hot to eat, alright? So, you know, I wanna give y'all other shit than just talking, so y'all just fall back, y'all just... Tune in, hit that like and subscribe button, and right now I'm going to show you how you make some shit, alright? I appreciate everybody that's been rocking with me, but like I said, I get tired of talking, and actions speak louder than words, so I want to show y'all some shit, man. So I appreciate it, man. Y'all tune in. Here it go. What they do, y'all? Y'all already know what time it is, man. k Frog TV. Look, check this out. I'm going to make a little quick video this time. You feel me? Because it don't take that long or whatever, but I'm going to break it down to y'all how y'all make a homemade prison stinger. Which, forever, whoever's watching and don't know what a stinger is, a stinger is what you use to boil water. If you ain't got, like, hot water at that camp, if they don't supply it, every camp usually has a stinger in some dorms, okay? And it's it's very simple to make, and it's, and, and, and it's like a hand-me-down. Every dorm I've been to that had a stinger, when the person who had the stinger left, they handed it down to the next inmate, handed it to the next inmate. It's like a hand-me-down, a lot of old, cool... Old school people that been in there for a while, they rather use that than the hot water they do supply. So I'm going to break it down to y'all right now how you do it. All right, let's get it. First thing you're going to need is a cord, which, you know, a lot of people are going to want to know how do you get a cord like that in prison. I mean, it's easy. You know, they have, they have fans in every dorm. People really yank these out the back of the fan. You know, uh, because there's no AC in prison. So there's these big fans everywhere. You can even be in the school building, you know, and yank that shit out of the back of a computer. You know, there's, there's ways to come across cords. You know, it's not like it's impossible. They literally do it. It's been going on for years. All right. So you have your standard cord like this. As you see, I cut it. I cut the, I cut the rubber off and then you just take two out of the three wires. There was three, but I just bent that one over and wrapped it up. And then you're going to take the plastic off the two sits. So you got a positive and a negative. Okay. It's literally going to be this simple. All right. Y'all pay attention. You got a positive and a negative. All right. So the first thing you want to do is, is you get you two pieces of metal, which in prison we use toenail clippers, but I don't have no toenail clippers right now. So I'm just going to use two spoons, which as you see, it's, it's just two spoons, which are two pieces of metal. All right. Um, First thing you're gonna do is you wanna go ahead and get your things ready. You're gonna you're gonna you're gonna wrap the metal around I mean the, the, the wire around the metal. You wrap it around like this. It's very easy. It's a one, two, three thing. Get you some tape, you know, in there. A lot of people, you know, have black tape, believe it or not, because this is the tape that you use when they bring that sack in. When the mules bring that shit in, this is the damn tape they're using. Okay? So then what you do is, is you go like this. And you want to wrap the wire around the spoon, and then you want to tape it real good on there. Okay? Tape it real good like this. Get that one out of the way. All right, you want to tape it real good so the, so the wire is on the metal. All right? And like I said, this is how you make a stinger to boil water. All right? Tape it real good on there like that. Okay, like this, and boom, all right, there's one, all right, I have one spoon on there now. Now I'm going to do the same thing with this one right here. I'm going to wrap the wire around it, do the same thing, and it's, 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 it's really that simple. You know, you can use this at home. You ain't got to be in prison to have a stinger, you know. Um, they come in handy. You know, a lot of times the hot water they do supply isn't really that hot. A lot of people like these stingers in prison due to the fact that, you know, they, they, they make their coffee better. They, you know, everyone wants real hot water for their coffee. They don't want warm water or a little hot. You know, for some reason, a lot of people like that coffee extra hot. So this is the stinger that they use. This is how they make them in prison. All right. So you wrap this tape around there like this. You don't want no wire showing because this is going to be near the water and you don't want your, you don't want to lose, you know, power or nothing due to the fact that, you know, so you have it like this, as you can see, you see, just like that. 
Now what you do is, is you're gonna place something in between this so that way they don't touch, all right? This is what we used to use in prison, which it's just a bunch of uh, nail filers. It's, it's about five nail filers snapped in half, put together and wrapped in tape. You put that in between, you know, and then you can use this as a spacer. Also what we use is, which I, what I'm gonna use today, is a rock. Just a simple rock. We used to take rocks off the rec yard, you know, and stuff like that, and use these as spacers. So I'm gonna use this one today, just because it's more like, you know, more something like out of the ordinary that someone would actually use, but it actually does get used. So I'm gonna use this today, so that way y'all get a better vision of it. And I'm just gonna tape this to this. Okay, that's gonna get taped like that. And like I said, you don't want those to touch. That's the whole reason for the spacer, all right? Is you don't want that to touch. So let's go ahead and put this on this end real quick. Like this, just to hold that. Put this down here like this. All right, and I'm showing y'all, it's just a simple rock. That's how easy this is. You can use anything, you know, but I'm just using a rock today just to show y'all that you can literally use anything, okay? Like I said, you don't want you don't want these these to touch. You know, in prison, a lot of people will use uh you know string you know to wrap around your your thing and stuff like that, and you know different tape from envelopes. But we literally do have a lot of black tape in there. Okay, so let's move this on over like that, just so it gets a little space, like this. Trying to make it to where it doesn't, it doesn't touch. And uh, like I said, this is being used every day in prison. They take them during shakedown, everything. You know, when really you're just using it for a, a hot water device. But, you know, they're going to mess with you any way possible they can. You know, so as you see, I have this and this with my spacer. All right, should be enough tape. Boom, that's it. Look at that, it's easy as one, two, three. All right, now what I'm gonna do is, I have a bowl in here. I'm gonna fill this bowl up with water. Just regular water. All right. Put this bad boy in the sink. And we're going to plug her in and get it going. All right. Let's do it. Put it right here into the bowl. Let's see if I can move this. Put it in the bowl. And now I'm going to plug it into the wall. It's easy as one, two, three. And that's it. Let's get it. As y'all see, man, that shit is working. All right? And this right here is what you call a stinger which is what you use to boil water to make your soups or whatever. You know, they do have outlets in the chain gang. They're right where the water fountains are. And I literally made it as easy as one, two, three. With nothing but a cord. Like I said, you can rip off of a fan that are in the dorms. Or you could come across a cord and yank it out of a computer inside the school building, whatever you want. Some tape. I even used a rock. And I tied two pieces of metal together, which in this occasion I use spoons. But in prison, you can use toenail clippers. Any two pieces of metal. But I'd appreciate y'all watching and fucking with me. See y'all next time, man. K4TV.